Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS FAATC Hornet video, we'll discuss the ADM 141A Tactical Air Launch Decoy, otherwise known as the TALD. The TALD includes Luberg lenses that can be configured for different radar cross sections, or RCS. In this case, for the Hornet, the RCS will match. Talls can be carried on stations 2, 3, 7, and 8 on Maru 42 racks with up to three talls on each rack. Talls are listed in the mission editor in the AG missiles category. Upon release, winglets unfold from the decoy and allow the tall to glide. Now, naturally, the range will depend on your altitude and airspeed as it's an unpowered system. Talls can be used to create false targets for both surface-to-air and air-to-air -air hostile radars. This is a great tool for suppressing enemy air defenses and giving enemy fighters false targets to sort through. Let's get started. Okay, so uh, let's drop some talls. First things first, make sure that the master arm switch is set to arm, and we'll go to the air-to-ground master mode. Here on the left DDI, we can see we have some AGM-88 harms loaded, two of them, as well as the ADM-141A TALs. Select those. We can see we have two under each wing. If we want, we can cycle the stations by hitting the step button. Come back. But let's go back to harm for now, and we're going to set up a pre-briefed shot like we talked about in an earlier video. So pre-briefed, USC, target, in this case is a SA-11 TELR, so it's going to be 115 is our code. Enter. Set up on the HUD. Let's bring up the uh, EW page again. So we can see the uh, Snowdrift uh, search radar out there. We're going to wait for an 11 to pop up, which are the TELRs of the uh, uh, Transporter Erector Launcher Radar. Once that happens, I'm going to start uh, putting some TALs out there for those SA-11s to start tracking. And then I'll uh, launch the HARMS. And there they go. And the HARMS will home in. So back to storage, 141. And to release tall, we'll just press the weapon release button. One, two, three, four. Back to the harm. Autopilot off. And two away. Let's come off. And at this point, now I'm going to wait for those SC-11s to lock up those TALs, and those uh, harms will then home in on those emitting radars. And I can essentially turn the other way now, because I don't have to worry about the radar uh, tracking me. So let's take a look at this in the F-10 view. So here are our TALs. Harms coming in. You see the SA-11 missiles coming out, and they're going towards the TALs, and not me. Zooming in. You can see the harms coming in now. And dead. So you can see all those uh, SAMs went to the uh, TALs instead of me. So again, this is a really handy way uh, for suppression of enemy air defenses, but also you could be in a BVR fight, put some TALs out there and uh, give um, the enemy AI or another play out there some real fits in terms of air-to-air -air sorting. Anyhow, folks, very much hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks.